Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> I haven't found anything yet. I haven't looked at news yet. I haven't done anything yet. Five twenty, okay, I'm in the right zone. So it looks like we don't really have Anything, that's good. We don't have anything in the morning. Like 20 a.m. Welcome. <gasps> Everybody forgets to mute themselves. So someone posted in the chat about uh, CHF Jappy and I, uh, I don't know how I feel about it 100%, just to be honest. This is potentially just a pullback here before the drop, right? The zone, maybe even the zone. It all just depends on how this four hour closes. So we can, you can wait for the four hours to close. Let me pull up the currency meter. I don't have the currency meter up yet. Let's just go a little chi So Jappy's really weak. So GJ's going bullish right now. Cat and Jappy are both weak. We're really ranging this morning between uh, tons of pairs. We had tons of news yesterday. The thing is with Euro Jappy now, we got to see how this, this candle closes because although this is not the same strategy, if we are going to look at – if, if Euro Jappy ends up rejecting and closing really small, it could be a, a, a really, really big drop. Although this can be, right, this can be either uh, the rally base and the rally, right? That's a huge possibility. But the thing is, is it seems like we might be making lower lows and lower highs here on this zone. Which means that there might be that potential to turn this candle into a rejection candle. Because that weekly finished off. But we had so much news yesterday, right? That news yesterday. Oh, it was all yellow news. Alan said there was, I didn't check. Oh, he popped it up on investing.com. It's all yellow jacket, though. Shouldn't have been that strong. Uh, but anyways, so Gigi, I don't like, I don't, I don't really like, 
I don't, I don't really like most of the stuff right now. See, Jeff Jeffy, I would say it looks nice is so far. I don't know why he keeps doing this. Do not show this again. Ranging, ranging. This is a point where price had broken these structures here. This, this very well can just be the point of a pullback before continuing into some bearish momentum as well for Euro USD. Euro USD could be a good one for a good drop. See Jeff Jappy. I'm not seeing anything I, I like 100%. Let me, let me pop up my, uh, on my desktop. I need to get some more pairs going. We need to see more pairs. We got time. It's only 525. No rush. Okay, so what do we got? We got no. A lot of these pairs look really similar. It's like an AUD can. No, I don't like it either. I really don't like that. Because what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for most is when you have, you have candles on your left and you have candles on your right. And then you have the candles on either the, on the left is where you're going back to next. So in situations where it's like, This is how I, I'm looking for my situation where I have like, see how I have like wick range, wick range, boom, finish off huge engulfing. Now we had the potential of going to that range and that range. So it's, they're very clear. You can see exactly where price action wants to go next. But then when you have it way down here now, right, either we're, Either we're just going to continue going up into this this range or make the pullback. This is I don't like it when it's already at this point. So you just got I I just let it wait because I'm only looking for one style really of in particular um, setups. But it doesn't mean that the lower like see the lower time frame how it's making these higher highs and higher lows. No, that's a huge rejection though. So. Not into it. This is not my style of setup. So I move on to the next one. Same thing. It's not in between anything. Uh, AUD CAD. We already checked AUD CAD. Uh, AUD CHF. Yeah, don't like this either. So although that, although that these candles are finishing off strong and, and still go into these whole ranges, it's not my style of setup. Even with all this that's happening, it's just not what I'm looking for at all. US, USD cap. Did I look at USD cat? I don't think I did, to be honest. Okay. I thought that was the, <laughs> for a second, I thought that was the four hour. I was like, this is our trade right here, guys. <laughs> it's so strong, it's going down. Uh, yeah, that, the four hour. <clears throat> See, I was just in this, this is all NFP week, right? All this NFP week, so. This is just consolidating in a range. We need, 
we need price to because see how we might be rejecting this so this is what we're looking for is price is either going to be breaking these structures or it's going to be breaking these structures so it, it's in a it's in a range that it doesn't have a clear momentum for a setup yet on usd cad not at all look at how rangy it is it doesn't have higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs in a nice way this is just this is a, like don't know what this was for probably news wait that's 5 30. that was oh yeah that was news last friday so this is the first five o'clock of of this new week so that this was the news from last friday that is a gnarly news jump Super gnarly news jump. Let me see what other pairs we got. So, and a range. Everything's ranging here. Everything's ranging. And it's only Monday. It's right after NFT week. So, GBP CAD, Euro CAD, AUD jab. Yeah, I didn't look at AUD. Yeah, I did. AUDCHF. I didn't look at this one. Which looks to be just like a slow morning. That's that's really typical. It's not. Uh, yeah, we looked at this pair. I can tell. Um, I just don't see a whole lot for momentum this morning. Uh, just being honest, I really don't. Maybe by 10 a.m. there's going to be something really nice. Okay, so this is looking a little better. EuroCAD's looking a little better. Cause see how this is this is more of what I'm looking for because when I'm looking at this chart, I'm able to do this, right? We're able to get an idea of of some some areas that price might be breaking. So I don't like the fact that it's already kind of on this area. Um, oops. I don't like the I don't like the fact that it's already on this. Why is it making this red? Oh. So it's already touched this zone here. These are these are the things that I usually don't like. I don't like when it's already touching a zone at all. But the whole idea is the fact that when we look left, I can't handle that noise right now. I'm sorry. I just gotta mute everybody. I just I can't handle all the little background noise. It just it's too much for me to handle. Yeah. Defeats the purpose of, of teaching. Okay. So you see how we're right here? See how it's already touching this? That's usually what I don't like. I don't like when it's ever touching a zone. But let's see what the lower so but even with the lower time frames, the fact that we do have this is the next potential range even just here right just even here in this whole range looks to be like a very clear um area so we would have to see how we end up closing in the next 26 minutes but eurocad is a little bit more of um the style of setup that i'm looking for On your OCAD here, but it's already touched this minor um, supply. So these are the things that you have to be mindful of because when it already taps a zone, that's where price can make some pullbacks and such. But when we look at this 15 minute time frame, we definitely can see a very clear um, higher high and higher lows, right? It's very clear. So we have. Just continues to make this is even one here I just don't want you to miss it the 
Hey, Kyle, can you hear me? What's up, Alan? Uh, go to an hour. Eurocady. Which pair? The Eurocady. Does it look bad? No, 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 it looks nice. Let's set up for the new high low. I think we need waiting broken below above, sir. Yeah, because it can, it can be on the zone and we can still reject. Because mm -hmm. we've already tapped this. That's the whole idea. Yeah, you can see yeah. the, the rejection. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be honest. There's actually uh, – there's really nothing clean at 6 a.m. this morning. Yeah, I didn't see nothing. So uh -huh. I don't think it was Yep, everything – because we had so much news with NFP last week that all the pairs made insane pushes. So now they're going to maybe – it's not to say that price is not going to just make big moves too. You know, it's like even though we're not in between zones on really any – a lot of these pairs, um, at least as of right now, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that like CHF Jappy is not going to still drop. Or Euro, yeah, like, you know, Euro USD is not going to keep going bullish. It's just not my style of setup that I want to trade. See, look at what happened with Euro USD, just right here. Maybe we start to go more bullish, depending on how these four hours close. Because now, if we're looking at Euro USD, the next range that we're going to is this wick range right here. Look left. You can see that whole wick range. So if we're closing pretty bull, then it would only make sense based on a price action. And that's the range that we're going into, which means that on this, on the Euro USD right here on the 15 minute, we might be making, we might consolidate, but then make the higher highs and higher lows to continue going bullish. So you could definitely see how we broke all of these structures and we came back to retest. We broke again. We came back to retest, and then it launched while we were looking at other pairs. I mean, it didn't go very high, it, like five, six pips, ten pips in this, in this time frame. But that next zone, that next zone is potentially around 30 pips away. So it's not to say that a lot of these pairs are not going to move, or even CHF Jappy, right? Like CHF Jappy, like it, this is more of the cleaner style that I'm looking for. And this is that next real nice destination is right here based off of this whole wick range. Because we did break below everything. And we didn't necessarily, like we, we didn't necessarily even touch this when you get really technical. So this is actually one of the potential better, also better style setups here because this is where price can probably, I would say um, if, if we're going to trade, let me look at the two pairs that we're at. We have EuroCAD. And we have CHF Chavi. Let me see what the currency meter is doing. Well, these, these two are just, they got nothing. So the, 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 this is not becoming a cheat sheet for me right now. Um, although the Euro just gained an insane amount of strength. This is where our put that potential that rally the base rally comes in. So if we were to break, if we were to break this structure and close above here, then we're going up. If we were to close above that, I would say that's a good, because then our next destination is right here. 
See, then we have a clear understanding of where we're going next based off the wick ranges looking left, right? That's all you have to do. Look left. Look for those wick ranges to the left. And that is our next destination. And then if you want to understand how many pips that is, very large. So this will depend on how this candle closes. Because we could also just be going into some fake out, grabbing more premium price, go down. So this is not my style of setup, that's why. But does it mean that it's not going to move? Absolutely not. It doesn't mean that. Your jab, you might end up way up here, just based off of what's going on with down here. Looks like we're having a rally, a base, and a potential another rally. So we just have to wait to see it, um, how we make some more higher highs and higher lows. Because at this point, we have lower lows and lower highs. Nice some tissue. It looks like we didn't even quite make it to here. How many minutes do we have left? So we still have uh, 19 minutes. So I would like to see if this would pull up more. Yeah. Unless it just goes like directly right now. So we have the EuroCAD, which has the potential range. Right? Alan, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you see that you like best? Because I don't really see anything that I like best, if that makes sense. Besides CJ Jappy, um, just because how it's so strong breaking below. But I would like to see it um, still come up to to this point. That's where I would have wanted to see it. Um, even though I mean, it looks like it kind of rejected there. Close no wick potential sign of rejection. You know, I'm not looking to get in at that time. How many pips was that? Five pips, nothing. Well, something, but. Gero cab. So it, it seems like we do have the potential to go into the bullish range on a few of these pairs. Um, the, we've got that potential for the rally base rally. So if we're going to keep going up, we're going to make more higher highs and higher lows. Euro Jappy can be the same thing if we have a rally, another base, and then another rally. And to the left on Euro Jappy, we have the whole wick range left. So depending on how this candle closes, if it closes above that, then that would be good for us to go bullish. Then that's going to tell us that we're going up. See, Jeff Jappy looks like it's going right now. Looks like it's just over it. I wonder if uh, the jabby is gaining, gaining strength for some odd reason. No, just maybe some market structure, huh? Are these other ones moving too? Not really. So something's going on. It's just kind of, see, Jeff Jappy just has some, some really large momentum right now going. So let's see how everything else. I need to get some tissues. My nose is really, really, I think it's, it might be coming here right now. Like even before, like that pre-push, because it's 5.30 now, right? Let's see. Is it 5.30 now? No, it's 5.40. So we have that, that little bit of the pre-push, like right at 5.30 usually. So there's like 5.15, and you can see 5.30 in that 15-minute candle here. Like a little pre-push, 5.30 happens all the time. That's, that's a 10-pip drop already. Let me go grab some tissue.
it, it, I'm not going to lie to you. It looks like CHF Jaffe. Um, is going for a, a, a bit of a drop right now. So let's see what all these other players are going to do. Potential new higher low. Looks like EU wants to go as well. About that Eurocat. Eurocat as well. So if we are closing, let's get some. Right? Oops, I'm going to just delete everything because I got too much on the screen now. So we do break above this. That's going to be very. That's going to be very, very clean, because we are going up. This is exactly where we're going next. And then, if it were to keep going, then it would go to that destination. So this is these higher highs and higher lows, and the rally, another base potential, another rally. So if we are going to continue going into the bullish, then we're going to have time to get more entries, to get better, to get. Um, on some pullbacks if it keeps going. So CHF, I don't want to look at too many pairs. I don't want to get everybody confused. So I just want to kind of commit to, to one, and I'm probably going to commit to one based off of – see how the euro is so strong? So because the euro is so strong – Sometimes at that point, it's good to stick with a euro pair because then you know that the euro is strong right now, that it's probably going to be pulling into, into that direction. So euro Jappy is probably just launching. Euro USD potential because it looked like the, the US dollar was pretty weak. Like I want to trade CHF Jappy, um, but even based off currency meter, the CHF and the Jappy are so weak. So it just – there's nothing really that is – Making me enjoy it. Yeah. So I'm going to stick with. First, I'm going to wait. Because Euro, Eurocat actually, this ended up just being like a little bit nicer of uh, entries there. But I'm going to wait how this four hour closes. Because the stronger this four hour candle closes like this, the better it's going to be for us because even if it just kind of hovers a little bit or, or it's even if it comes up launching, it's going to be making more pullbacks. So if it makes another pullbacks, that's where our safer entry is going to be unless it's one of those pushes that just keeps going. But the next destination is not so here. This range and even this range. This one's the better range. This is more minor. This is a much much nicer and larger. And then, of course, depending on how strong it ends up really wanting to go for whatever odd reason, that is another potential destination that it could be launching to. So see how well it's going here. And I bet you all of them are going, yep. Because that euro just gained way too much strength. So let me get these pairs up on my thing. We have euro, euro USD. We have euro CAD and euro Jappy, right? So I got euro Jappy. And I need some euro CAD. Okay. Okay. So we got, what do we got? We got Euro Jumpy here. Let's see how everything ends up handling. Because our candle has not closed yet.
the Euro USD actually doesn't look. Your USD ends up looking like it's 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 looking almost the best. Yeah. Go ahead and. Let me look in the chat box. Some people have some, maybe some things to say. I haven't placed any trades. I haven't, I haven't touched anything yet. I'm just waiting. My biggest thing is I'm waiting for the whole candle to close. I want the four hour candle to close because then once I have the momentum idea, then I'm going to be looking for my pullbacks. So like, like if we break above this structure in the next eight minutes, then at least I know I'm pretty confirmed for buys and I'm going here. So then I'm going to be looking on the 15 minute for those potential pullbacks because now if we're biased to go bullish, my stop loss range is maximum here. This is maximum stop loss. This is more minimal stop loss, like around here which means that if this is more my minimal stop loss, I want price to come as close to that as possible for my entries. Now, as you can see, the 15 minute had broken the, it landed right on this structure. So if we pull back, if we make a small pullback, that is much better. It's much better if we start making a, a bearish pullback because that is going to be making some new higher lows, which is gonna help us with that momentum. Cause we might just have one of those just really big pushes. So if we're gonna stay confirmed, cause as of right now, EuroCAD is pretty confirmed. If we break above that structure, now we're in between zones. This is what's going down for EuroCAD. So I just wanna wait just for a little extra confirmation. And EuroUSD looks like he's just not giving a shit and it's just going. And this was just that rally base. There's the rally. And as you saw price here, this is the point that price broke. So this is the point that price comes back to. And then it made the launch. And it's going now. I bet you everything's going now. If, if, if Euro USD is really pushing right now, Euro Japanese is probably pushing. Yeah, they're all really just making a nice push, which is going to be okay because then it's just going to confirm us. I don't really know. Yeah, so you see Euro Jappy. If it does, see, that's why I draw this little black line. If we do break above that whole structure, then this is that next destination. There we go. It looks like Euro USD is just really not giving a shit, and it's just going, going, going right now. This was the rally, base rally there. I should have looked at the five minute. It's already going to touch that next zone. Did anybody get in? I heard some people clicking. Did somebody get in for Euro USD? It was pretty good if you did, to be honest. Oh, wow. Everything's just going. So EuroCAD looks very safe, at least, because it's not even near the next zone. EuroJapy just made that insane push. Made a 2-1 calm from here. I didn't like it as much, though, because I'm waiting for the candle to close. Euro USD already had the nice push. I'm gonna rule out now Euro USD. Not Euro Jap yet, because we didn't really hit the next zone. Let's see, but we did have this. Right? Yeah. So that makes me a little bit nervous. But it's very strong. So this is still the next um, this is a bit of the next range that price is still going to. I still like EuroCAD the best. I like Eurocad the best because it hasn't it hasn't gotten close to that zone yet, which is going to give me time to now look for some entries if we're going to continue going bullish. Because I missed the Euro Jappy here on the the two one, which is fine. I, I I'm not I'm not worried about missing any entries. Euro USD just went broke structure, made a new higher low. This would have been a good. Um, Thing that I paid attention to. 545. Because in our workday, we would have been done already here. 
this would have been this would have been the work day already done. So it's fine. I'm going to stick with EuroCAD for now and see how EuroCAD still closes and finishes. Because it's moving a little bit slower than these other pairs. CAD's still really strong or really weak. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to stick with. I'm going to be sticking with EuroCAD here. Let's see if I can get some something I want to look to see if I'm going to get something. So I like what it's doing because we've broken these structures. So if this close is really small, really like just really small, not too big, um, I like it for a new higher lows. And I, 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 even though we might have, it looks to be like maybe a sign of rejection, this can just be very well come back to make that liquidity that I'm looking for with the wick to go fill. So everything that it's kind of doing right now is actually setting up nice. Let's see what these ones ended up doing. Your job, we just is making that nice launch. Probably EU kept going. Yep. EU, EU just went. So EU ended up being one of the, the nicer looking um, pairs for that, that pre-push right there, 530. Right there, boom. So now I wait. So this is where I'm looking for, if we break here, this is actually not a bad spot to look for entries in this one as well. So since we did, if we break this area, if either it's going to just keep going right 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 as the new um four hour opens that's a potential because we're still not in the zones that i'm really looking for yeah we've tapped this that is not really a strong as you can see if we we're just going to land on here look at what the last one did might just have a little bit of a mimic but eurocat is definitely um Definitely looking really good. I wonder if any of you guys traded EG or I heard somebody was stacking orders. So if you stacked it on EU, that was probably really good. EJ could have been really good too. If you saw that two one confirm. My eyes, I'm a little bit slower this morning. So I'm really tired. So I'm just taking things slow. Oh, it looks like, you know, cat is just going right now too. So I'm just gonna still give it some seconds. Cause the next zone is not to the pink. All right. What does the five minute look like? Oh yeah, it's just kind of signaling. Yeah, I'm just gonna place a couple uh, bias here, even though it's more on that resistance, not on the support that I'm looking for. It just seems to have this really strong momentum going. So I just have two here. And I'm going to be looking for more entries more down here. If it makes that pull back again, I'm looking for more entries around here or more entries around here. Because now we have broken above this nice resistance. Let's see what Eurojabby. Oh yeah, Eurojabby went straight to the next zone. There was that next destination, was just this next zone here. EuroUSD did the same thing. Look at oh my gosh, EuroUSD just made a real EuroUSD is just really wanting to go. And that EuroCAD. So I only have two entries here. Uh, 
four, five, four pips, five pips each, five pips each, 10 pips each. Um, well, I don't even have time to take screenshots of anything. The next TP is gonna be here, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't make the low rejection. Cause I already hit, I didn't even have time to really close the entries. I really wanted to go there, the trade here. Let's see, let's see. We're on EuroCAD, right? This is EuroCAD, yep. So I'm going to my chart now. I wanted to just keep pushing here. So my entries are my entries are just right here. So they're at six and seven pips each. I only put two because I was waiting for more pullback. So I only got two in as of right now. But my next destination that I really want to close is just if it gets to this next zone. Or back to 10 pips. I'll probably just close them back just right at 10 pips. I'm at seven pips each, not a crazy amount, but a, but a lot. If I had more entries, I probably would have closed more. Let's hope that it doesn't make like a push and then a rejection here. So, cause let's see, let's see what the four hour, just so we can get an idea what the four hour did. We still went up. No, it's just, it's just really strong though. I don't see why I would want to reject if it doesn't get to this here. This is the real uh, proper destination that price really wants to get to. It's still this whole range here. especially here, watch, we're going to that currency meter, the currency meter, we're gonna to go to reload, and the euro, okay, so CAD looks like CAD gained a little bit of strength, not a crazy amount, but euro Jappy ended up being that winner, winner chicken dinner, and euro USD, look at how euro USD just went. Let's see how many pips this one was here, just in that push, wow, that's 13 pips just in that one push. Euro USD definitely ended up being the more of the lover here this morning, Definitely, definitely was a bit of the lover this morning. Which is okay, it's okay if, if, if you don't catch it, it's not, it's not the end of the world, like I'm not upset or anything. But it was definitely much nicer. And look how many pips it went up, it already went up that 50 pips. And that, that was that momentum push. You can see how strong those, those momentum pushes happen just trading around those four hour time frames. Now I'm just holding a bit. Cause it's got strong momentum still. I'm hoping we just come straight up. And it's looking like we're gonna come straight up into the zone potentially, and then maybe start making some pullbacks. Yeah, the one minute doesn't look so bad either. It actually looks pretty good to continue going bull. Cause it's just making new higher lows even on that one minute. So I'm gonna stick away from the one minute just because the higher, the higher the candle, the stronger the confirmation. So this was, that nice confirmation was really based off of uh, those five minutes, how it just really, it really was just showing you. And the biggest reason why I just placed those entries, even though we're closer onto that resistance, is based off of that currency meter. Because that currency meter was just too strong. And all these other pairs just kept going. So the euro just had that real dominant strength right now. The euro just has that dominant strength. Like we close above here too. Which, which pair is this on? This is euro Jappy. Euro Jappy, I don't know where euro Jappy really is going to end up because euro Jappy is so strong. Now we can come up into this whole entire range here. You see how strong it closed above everything and it just closed strong. So now we're going into this whole width range. Euro Jappy is not done. Euro Jabby, Euro Jabby's probably having a bigger push. Absolutely. So I'm hoping that um, 
your cattle have the same. I'm going to look at the 15 minute here just to make sure we don't make any like kangaroo tails or something. This is a fresh zone. A fresh zone with a new wick to go re to go right back into. Cause it didn't really tap. It didn't really, it tapped into this whole range here, but this whole range is not, this is no reversal zone. At least in my eyes, it doesn't see any reversal zone, just potential more liquidity before continuing. So that's all I'm waiting for. My next destination here is I really want to close once we get to the next zone. That's what I'm looking for. See how we broke this? So that is a good sign for price even to come back. Maybe even throw some wicks for liquidity and then continue. That's where this whole structure was that I was talking about. Man, all these other pairs were just so much nicer. I feel like that happens to us quite often. Doesn't that always happen, Alan? We're like, we're like looking at a few pairs and then we're like, okay, we're gonna go with this one, but these other ones just, for some reason, just move better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I happens. catch it, I catch it, Jay, here. Oh, you caught it? Okay, good. All right, good. At least, at least, at least, you know, you're, you're under that gear. Um, yeah, when I saw the pullback there on five minutes old. <laughs> oh, was that you that was putting entries? Yeah, I put one. But I got ten percent. All right. Oh, okay, good. Well, I heard. I heard somebody was like, "Click, click, click." Yeah, I heard you. I, I, click. I you. No, no. Someone's like, "Click, click, click." I enter like a small side, but I got ten percent. It's good. What else? It's, it's like almost forty, forty minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Nah, Allah ni dai dai. Mushuk ki dai wa nomba Amerika ni sozi ki sarba. Wadma. صراحة كثر شوفي بدأ يداول وبدأ اليوم استدعوا الأسبوع لايف صفقتين كلها جابت الأهداف وربي I just mute everybody I don't want to hear sorry guys I just mute you if I hear if I hear too much talking in the background I'm just if it's not just about the charts I'm gonna mute you I don't want to hear it But yeah, Alan, that always happens to us, dude. We're like, <laughs> you know, we're looking at all these pairs. And then like, like look at how Euro USD just ended up being so much nicer here. This was a really good for that little pre-push. Which one? That Euro USD. It ended up just being so nice here on this new higher low. Oh, yeah, true. Right? And then it was right for 530, right for the pre-push right there. So that's not a big deal. Yeah, sometimes I, I saw last week like every push happened like five thirty a pre push yeah. is kind of set up nice and yeah, like yeah, a pre push. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Euro Jap the Euro Jappy was actually good too, just based off of the two one confirm that it made. You see how it made yeah, that yeah. Two, and then boom it just but I put only one enter. Suppose I put more, I click more than when I saw it start going up and okay, they be one. Yeah. Close it. But suppose if I enter more, I leave it on stop loss and profit. Yeah. Let it run. 
Because it's not finished. It's the, the, no, the, no, the no. EJ's going up. Yeah, EJ. Hero Cat 2. Make EJ. you want to go back now. Yeah, I see, I see Euro Cat still going up. So I'm just waiting for more entries on Euro Cat. Um, EJ was, it just was nice. It, it ended up just being nice. So this was just the rally, the base, and then now the new rally going into the yeah. four-hour the four hour momentum, right? And the, the Asian pair is doing a lot of the ready base ready. Yeah, I don't know who it was, but somebody stacked up on one of these pairs. It's probably on EU. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody talking, okay? Yeah. I don't talk. Yeah, I just I just heard it though, like do do do. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be looking at um on Eurocad now. So I, I like where it's at now. Yeah. Let's look at some entries too. Now I'm just going to keep my eye here on this currency meter just because I, I feel like the cat was gaining a little bit of uh, strength. See how the cat is kind of gaining some, some strength? Yeah. So, um, you maybe, have interest? Huh? You have interest? I do, yeah. So, um, maybe, maybe that's what's making this pullback here just because it's gaining some strength. Because now we have now we have this is like a fresh zone to go retouch, right? We just touched yeah. here, so now we want to go back into that range. Let's see, five minutes. The five minute looks good. Yeah. Come right back, right back to where we broke. Maybe even a little further, just for a little bit more liquidity before the continuation. Yeah, just for the. the you know, on the EuroCAD from where I had put those entries, like I was looking at my, my MetaTrader, like it went straight to 10, but it was just moving so fast. Uh huh. You know what I mean? It was just moving like so incredibly fast that I was hoping that it was just gonna keep pushing. You know, I was hoping it was just gonna keep pushing just like these other pairs were. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, EJ just keep. Yeah, like EJ, EU, they just they just kept going so much, so much, uh, so much better, so much stronger. Um, yeah, but I don't like the how's the the cat gain strength. Yeah, and you see that's. That's that's what's happening is the CAD is just gaining a little bit of strength. But that that can just be the reason why it's making a little bit of a pullback here. Mm, yeah. Now it's the enter like. Now it's gonna launch. Getting a little bit of liquidity. I think I think yeah, we just coming down, maybe grab some a little bit more liquidity. I don't see the area that it touched as a sign of of um of reversal because it just based off of the four hour here. How strong that was we did already come up and tap into this range that's the kind of thing that makes me like yeah oh yeah but but the whole idea is that that this is this is where this is where i anticipated price to go next 
this is this was really the anticipation um, where price was going to go. Looks like we maybe made a little two one here on the on these other ones here. Euro USD is probably making a little pullback. Yeah, Euro USD was just better. Euro Jappy was just a little better, and um, Euro CAD was still really good. Still just buying that support. Yeah, it just dropped for it yeah, so I'm just holding. I hold it and. Um, oh yeah, leave it so close. Yep, just writing a little bit of drawdown now. It's not a big deal. It's not so much money. More more drawdown than I want, but. Um, uh huh. This, this why does this happen to us though? Like I feel like this happens like very often where we're we're not trading like a pair that ends up going like a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we're, we're taking the, the webinar longer. Making yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it, this happened, it happens so much. Like it, it, it like frustrates me sometimes. It, it's, bec it's because of the webinars, you know, like you're, you're in the mindset where we're trying to trade together. We're looking at charts together. And then, you know, that, that brings on its own psychology, right? It brings on its, its own psychological differences. Yeah, but I thought it's going up. The I, see, yeah, going. I, see it's, I see it still going into the bullish side. So that's just what I'm, yeah. I'm uh, I'm hoping for here.
The only thing that the only thing that's lame is the fact that the the currency needed, it's a currency to start getting strength for the cat. The, the, of course, the Japanese yen didn't, and then the U.S. dollar didn't, right? I mean, that's always that's always like our luck. I don't I don't know why that happens. It happens so much with us. We're But it's still so unbiased. So we're very 15 minutes. Oh, absolutely. I even like, I even, I really like what it's doing. Um, even just coming back to the point where price broke. Maybe yeah. so. It's a rejection here. In one hour, it looks like a pullback in one hour now. Very big pullback, though. Mm -hmm. Just retested the, the last one, though. What I want to, what I want to be careful of is, um, because we still went into this range, you know, like we still went into this range. We didn't quite make it up here, but we still went into this range. I really saw it as price going um, further. This is where that, that real nice destination looked to be. So, I mean, it's, this is Forex, so, it, you know, bullshit happens. Oh yeah, and this is not a totally bullshit thing. Like price is coming back. If it's broken now, it's okay. <laughs> Oh. 
I want to see it leave off more liquidity here and not just continue. Because the one minute, the one minute ended up making an insane amount of lower lows and lower highs. You see, that doesn't, that doesn't look so good. No. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it, if it's still on this range, it's like, it's okay. Yeah, just the, the strength that the 15 minute ended up rejecting um, was not the, the behavior that I'm looking for to continue into the bullish momentum. So hopefully I didn't just miss out on my scalp and then it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That these other pairs, the other pairs just, and it looks like, it looks like they're, they still are a little bit better. It looks like EU, I mean, EU is already basic, Riley. Yeah, EU already made like that was that was a huge that was a huge push that EU had. EJ was huge too. And now Euro CAD. Is more or less just messing with my mind. And see I didn't like what I didn't like what the one minute ended up doing. Because the one minute ended up just making an insane amount of lower lows and lower highs. Just make sure the currency meter doesn't. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, I really don't, I don't like what Eurocat is doing. <laughs> you know, it, if it rejects it, I mean, if it rejects, it rejects. Like I chose the wrong pair to trade. Unless it's just, this is just like a bigger liquidity. But my, my, my stop loss is down here. Oh, yeah. So. But I think we can wait a little bit more for the, the end result. I don't, I don't like how it, I don't like how, you see how it, it pushed into that little momentum, but then it rejected. This is really where I anticipated price to go. It's getting, it's getting really close to my stop loss. The CAD, the CAD just gained strength for, you know, whatever, whatever it's reasoning. Is. Um, uh -huh. I feel like maybe even adjusting it a little I only have four entries. It looks like a reverse. So. Yeah, I'm writing. I'm writing now. I usually don't hold that many pips uh, drawdown, but I'm in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eurocad just kind of did its own thing this morning. Euro Jappy was better. Euro USD, which is better. But let's see. I, I didn't hit my stop loss yet. So let's see. Yeah. In the next 15 minutes.
not typically what I'm what I'm ex what I'm excited for with momentum. Let's see what happens. Let's see what goes down. I'm uh, I'm just gonna watch the one minute just because because my stop loss is really close. My stop loss is legit just right here. That doesn't look good. Those little st those little styles of candles always like it just looks like more lower highs just for more drop. Yeah, I don't like this though, Alan. I don't like what ended up happening. I caught the 10. May have been the last little, but it's definitely going to want to make some. Um, I mean, either it's going to hit my stop loss or we still need to make lower highs before going down. So I might be able to catch that retracement to the point yeah. where I can get out, maybe break even or take a smaller loss. But as of what it's doing now, it's not looking good for um, for my longs anymore. No, it looks like the, the rejection there is a drop and drop it now. Yeah. Yeah, so I may have just taken a bad trade this morning. You just choose the, the wrong pair. Which it happened to us a lot. <laughs> It really happened to us a lot. <laughs> All the other pairs that we look at, they're like, oh my gosh. And then every time we trade it's like I don't know I don't know why I don't know why that happens to us though. You know what I mean? Like I we stay like one hour in the trade. We can yeah. get a profit, but it stay one hour and the other pair is like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that it happens. I don't I don't know why it does like Yeah, I choose the the right one. I catch you, Jay. Oh yeah, you yeah. <laughs> I'm to do that. The only thing I need one more more entries. Two more. So it's all good. I'm I'm not worrying about it. I'm just still holding it, and um, let, let's see if we uh, still go. Maybe just had a little bit nastier of a liquidity, but this is usually not the typical. Like, like no. be beautiful thing you're looking for, but this could just be coming down to the point where price had just broken, and um, to go back up. I don't like I don't like how it's it it rejected like this hard though. This doesn't this doesn't seem like it's just gaining liquidity for more. You know what I'm saying? Because this is a that's that's too big of liquidity. Liquidity. Yeah. The liquidity usually just comes down a little. Like if you look at EJ's four hour, right? Like but maybe that little liquidity, right? Even EU, right? Like look at the like look at. Let me just get everything off the screen. Like you see how EU, like there's the momentum, and then. And then the liquidity now. Yeah, and then yeah, <clears throat> or maybe not even liquidity. Maybe just hit in rejection now. Because hit the zone there. Because they hit it, yeah. And that was that was the the six a.m. push that just and it came just pre-push and that was a big one. I just keep holding and see what happens. This is still mm -hmm. um, these points that price had broken, so hopefully I'm going to see a little bit of a turnaround. You can see the, the five minutes now if you come back to the, the zone again. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to see it making lower highs though, right? 
So yeah, if it's fail, if it's fail to come back, then maybe you're like changing that structure. Yeah. Yeah, because I I don't want to stay in a losing trade for too long. If um if it's going to be losing, I'm not putting any more entries. Because you see how this one also did close no wick. Uh huh. Could be that you know a little bit of just that liquidity here, maybe making new lower lows, lower highs. I'm just going to keep holding it. I have my stop loss. Um, I really did anticipate price going back to the next zone. That's where it looked more accurate. But it ended uh -huh. up that for whatever reason the Canadian dollar just started gaining more strength. It's true, right? Yeah, so it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Let's just see what happens. There's a lot of you actually sent me some screenshots. A lot of you traded the GJ, and it was really awesome. Some people sent me some Euro USD profits from this morning. So at least at least some of you guys are doing the right thing. So that makes me happy at least. <laughs> Maybe the guys take a lot of entries. Yeah. Yeah, I did I got a few messages and um from their profits and I was really impressed. Let's see the five minutes. I have to use I have to use the restroom a bit. I'll be right back.
cam back. It looks like it was changing structure a little bit, huh? You there, Alan? Yeah. It looks like the five minute might be changing structure. So I'm just gonna keep holding it. Um, see how it's making like now this lower high here. It looks like we're making a new lower high to maybe even go into the low side. Did the currency meter gain more strength for Canadian dollar? No, it's just kind of staying stagnant. I say the same. Yeah. Maybe the cat just gained strength for this pullback. It's a big pullback though. It's bigger. It's bigger than. Um, it's bigger than what I would have wanted to see. You know what I mean? Let's see how this next five minutes handle yeah. this. Space to broken is like change the structure. So this is the one thing that I'm looking at too here is now that see how we had broken this structure and then we came back and retested. Maybe that's a new lower high, right? Oh yeah. And then you see how the 15 minute, now we have a new lower high and it, and five minutes. Yeah. And the style of candle that it made, it's just looking like a new lower high here. So maybe it changes structure. You know, if it does, I'm just, we're just going to um, talk about, um, the trade we're gonna we're gonna document it and we're gonna yeah. we're gonna put it in the drive and then we can go back and we can study um, just some things that we that we may have done wrong so maybe identifying the uh, the supply and demand a little bit easier just for like those pre push entries right like here Right, like that was the pre-push entry. So if we know it's where our stop loss is, you know, mm -hmm. just buying that support because the pre-push, we would have been in and out, right? It went 30 pips. That would have been our, that would have been our scout for the day. We would have been done by the time six o'clock already opened. So all, all, all we can do is just wait, just see what happens. And uh, see the year, see the chappy in the U.S. dollar just didn't, they just didn't gain any anything. But it looks like these pairs are going to go into maybe even a little bit more consolidation because it just had like a really. No, I bet you they're going to still push. This was already the EU was just absolutely beautiful. Um, it looks like it made like a small little two one here, but it could uh, it could also just be gaining liquidity to go fulfill the wick too. Yeah, it's gonna win. This. Mm -hmm. That's the last fifteen minutes. So the one hour. Just, yeah, coming back to the point where it broke. Getting get ready to uh, hopefully go more into the bullish push. Did the hour close yet? No, we still got 14 minutes left on the oh, hour. Oh, yeah, 15 minutes for the uh -huh. hour close. So let's see how this one hour ends up. Because if the one hour closes real strong like that, that's a pretty good sign that we're going to go down, you know, because you can see how it came up, then it has a bit of rejection. Now we might have one hour wick fill. So let's hope that it just has a really big. Yeah, uh, but you can see like how this fifteen minutes goes. Yeah, it's closing. If this, yeah, if it's closing higher and higher, it's going to be better and better for us. Yeah. So now I'm I'm now I'm back to my entries here, my other entries that I placed. I wonder what like the 30 minute looks like. We just see what happens.
The five minute was making a bit of rejection here. That's what I was saying. That we might have just like like a little bit of low liquidity, maybe to continue going down from the lower high. Uh huh. This is what I don't want to see. So if this candle were to close like that, that'd be very, very bad news where I would probably switch to sells because then we would have a one hour wick to go fill and it's making a new lower high. So let's just see, see how they close. Maybe I take a bad trade, it's not a big deal. The other pairs were just better. Euro Jappy, which is better. Euro USD, which is better. I wonder how UJ ended up going. Do we ever look at UJ? UJ looked look pretty good, huh? Ended up making some higher highs, higher lows here. Stop pause here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, wow. The one hour looked actually really good on UJ, huh? Close above, resistance, liquidity, in between zones. How'd the four hour close though? Oh, it closed really strong. Did it close above? It did, it closed above. See how it closed above the resistance here? And then in between the zones. UJ ended up looking pretty good. Just keep holding. I don't have I don't have uh, so much drawdown anymore. It's nice. But if we just fail to to break, if it fails to push really hard, then it 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 appears to just be changing structure. And then I just I take a bad trade. Yeah, it just fails to come back. Yeah.
or it just might go, it, it, it might go into just into some consolidation, you know, more consolidation. But judging on how this, judging on how the one hour might finish off, it looks like it looks like it would continue fulfilling, uh, potentially going bearish, depending on how strong this one hour closes, which would mean that the fifteen minute would be making a new lower high here to go down, and the fifteen minute would be potentially failing to break for a drop. The one hour is a really good. Um, signal here for being a rejection and it's so strong to just continue so i mean we still have six minutes a, a lot can happen in six minutes so let's just see yeah this is waiting up I'm right back. I'm like in the bit of uh, now it's looking like a uh, more rejection, which is better. It's better. I want to see it close real strong though. The cat is just maintaining. It's not gaining or losing. It's just maintaining. Now it's looking like, ooh. let's just see. We have three minutes till the candle closes. What's the five minute look like? Okay.
the stronger this one hour candle is, the worse it is for longs. The stronger it, it the stronger it maintains, the more fulfillment of a one hour wick feel that it has. So that's not what I want. Especially if this is the point that price had broken, going down now, you can see how we broke that structure bearish. And then if this is the point that we are coming back to, to create new lower highs, that's exactly what price might be doing. Where now it's coming back to make where the lower high was to reject, to go into um, the opposite direction. Because as you can see how this 15 minute is closing, if it were to close too small, I'm just gonna close my entries. I'm gonna accept the loss before I take a bigger one. And then move on. We're just gonna, we're gonna document everything. And we're starting a, a team trade journal. For the reasons why we took the trades and the reasons why they were good or potentially bad. Maybe we, we waited a little too long to not get in for that pre-push. Right there at 5.30 for the rally base rally. So we would have been in and out rather than going through all of the uh, consolidation issues. Because as of right now, it doesn't look entirely bad on the five minute. Yeah, that's looking better. Looking, looking much better. Oh, that looks ugly. Though. Yeah, I, I would rather it close a little bearish. Let's see how that one hour closed. So close above. So it could just be a little bit more liquidity. So I'm just gonna kind of just keep an eye on here. See what it does. That's why it's just important to leave your stop loss and your take profit and say, this is what I'm going to lose. This is what I'm going to make. I'm right, I'm right at my other entries. This pair actually moves, uh, uh, like it has a lot of pip range. All right, like just here to here. Look, they, that's that's a lot. Like on UJ. Maybe that, that same length is half the amount of pips. All right. This pair pays like pretty pretty good. You can just tell by how by how short of a distance it is, how many pips it is. That's how I tell. I don't mind what it's doing right now, to be honest. This is why I'm just leaving my stop loss because if even if we just come down, potentially just making more liquidity, it could just be a setup where the momentum just didn't come right away. So like in the drive, I stated if usually your momentum doesn't come like that then if it's already one hour that you're still in a trade, maybe it's consolidating or maybe it's changing that uh, structure. As it looks like we might be doing. Looks like we might have been fulfilling that one hour wick fill because it just had that rejection there. How many pips would that have been? 68, oh, it's only four pips. It's not like incredible. So I just hold it. I just keep holding. Uh, I'm still pretty uh, on that buy bias. It's just that that momentum really came on that pre-push as it did on your USD and as it did on Euro Jappy. And thus it is what it is. But I'm really looking for those in and out type moves. So the pre-push was much nicer. Just that 530 pre-push just to be in and out. We could have closed it down, made a percentage, and then moved on to the next one.
this just might be a leaving stop loss and take profit and walking away just to let the chart do its thing. It's really good if it if it has the liquidity and it closes smaller red. It's really good for uh, signal to to continue going bullish because it's rejecting the low side, right? This is a big liquidity. Now we this is where the momentum just took some more potential time. The cat, I just want the cat to go weak. Just go weak so you can make the push and I can get out. Go about my morning, make my money. Let's see how these candles close. Take profit one point five two nine eight five. I like this range here based off that four hours still. This whole range. I like this range for TP still. Now I'm pretty much on close to all of my entries. And there we go. It's looking much nicer for us. Let's hope that it just continues and then it just goes up and at least fulfills going back into that whole wick range area here. This is what I was saying earlier where we had left this wick and that's the potential 
fresh zone, right? That's like a fresh area um, for price to retest again. So this is where my stop losses were. So this is where I always say, like, if you kind of know your stop losses, then that's usually the stop loss is always going to be based around that opposite support or resistance. So for me, this is where my stop loss was. So look what happened. Price literally came right to the stop loss and it looks like it's rejecting. I have more entries down there. And the take profit is in this range here. This is what I'm hoping for is for price to come up into that next zone so that I can get out and I can move on with my merry day and everybody else can as well. They just had more fake out, like a really big fake out. That's a, that's a huge, you know, rejection consolidation pullback. It's really big. So, um, I don't usually, I don't usually like to hold out drawdown that long. I don't usually like to see that, but sometimes it, you know, it kind of happens. This is where, when you just stay true to your stop loss, you know, even though I was writing out, I was writing out nearly almost 20 pips in drawdown from the entry here. Cause it came down to here. It was a lot of pips in drawdown. I don't usually hold that many pips in drawdown, but I'm still pretty by bias. So now I have only, I only have one entry that is in, uh, that is in drawdown now. And as with as strong as these candles are appearing to be now, it's confirming that momentum more and more now. It's confirming it. How strong these candles are closing here. A little bit of liquidity. I am probably going to anticipate some kind of launch in these next few 15 minute candles. That's what I'm hoping for. So I can be out. I can make my percentage. You guys, you guys, I mean, a lot of you already made your percentage in that pre push. Um, I can't even tell you. I had like four or five uh, WhatsApp messages from people that are just saying that, yo, I caught the GJ. Let's look at GJ because they call it GJ Longs, I think. Wow. Look at GJ. Look at right at 530 and then boom. Like that's how GJ is. That's why I don't trade GJ. She's too scary. But a lot of you said that you traded GJ. Look how many pips GJ went. Oh my, oh my gosh. See, this is why I don't trade GJ. Look, 122 pips in two 15 minute candles. Like that's too much. That's too much. Like that's too wild. Let's see how the four hour closed. Oh, well the four hour actually, so look at, we should have looked at GJ because GJ really did have a nice setup still. So look at the most recent resistance that she broke. Was she sitting on this? Nope, she broke this too. You see how she broke these resistances here? This is the candle that just closed. She broke above everything. Let's put some lines. Broke above. Broke above, right? Broke above that resistance and broke above that resistance. So what happens next? We're in between zones. That's the real nice destination. If you look left, there's more of a wick range. You can never really anticipate how high it's going to go, but at least when you know where the next zone is. So the next zone was your GJ was actually, this was, I should have looked at GJ, honestly. I don't like to trade GJ. But you can see this is a clear and perfect ideal setup for the momentum. We broke above all this, oh like broke, 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 and broke. Now we're in between zones. And it was in between that zone as well. And it actually fulfilled it up to here. That's incredible. Just incredible. Two 15 minute candles. Oh, you know what? That was not for 6 a.m. though. This is for 2 a.m. So this was the pre-push that, that uh, finished it off. 
That is incredible. 120 pips in two 15-minute candles. That is gnarly. Eurocat is nice now. So now I am in zero drawdown whatsoever. Which is much better for us. So now I really want to hold to that next zone. That's where I really anticipate price still going is up into that range again. Here was the fresh zone that price um, had just like tapped. It came back down to the point where price broke. You know, had a little bit more of a fake out. Um, played with our emotions a little bit. I didn't like what it was doing. I actually increased the stop loss just a tiny bit. It was really getting close. So I said, I really don't want to risk it hitting. So I moved it down just a little bit further just to allow a little bit more breathing room. And I, I was willing to risk losing extra percentage in order to actually fulfill making percentage. So that's what I ended up doing. And we're just now only in profit. Some entries have 13 pips, some have 10 pips, some have six, four, and four. But now that we've really confirmed that momentum, we're really confirming that momentum bullish now, right? So look at the four hour. The four hour had insane amount of liquidity, not the amount of liquidity that I really am looking for. So hopefully we just continue uh, pushing into this range. That's what I'm hoping for. So now it's worth it, it's it's worth holding now that stop loss and that take profit because if we still are going to that next zone, um, you know, you just kind of can walk away and allow the chart to you know kind of do its thing or just start putting you know stop losses in profit, whatever. These ones are too close to put stop loss in profit, and it just closed right here on resistance. So. Let's see kind of what happens here. Oh, I don't actually like that too much. Just being honest. I don't like what the five minute did. The five minute, I don't usually like those. Sometimes they're either like, okay, we're gonna reverse or it's one of those setups where it just goes. Because sometimes, sometimes it'll it'll make these little things, and then it, it then that's where it starts like a trend line, right? And it leaves these little rejections when it makes this this complete style. But sometimes it just goes, and then it just it just keeps going and just keeps going, keeps going. Let's go to the currency meter and let's make sure. So CAD lost more strength and Euro gained more strength, which is great. So it's just kind of helping us uh, determine, hopefully, that we're going to continue fulfilling into that momentum. And uh, we're going to hopefully come and reach this uh, new this uh, take profit. And there we go. There was our morning. But anyways, that was still... Uh, um, still a really good trade. We held out a little bit of that drawdown, a little bit of that fake out, and good trade.
I want to see. I want to see if it's gonna push like right now. Who? Somebody's driving. Huh? Who's driving right now? Bye bye. Let's see what ends up happening. Because it is right on the resistance, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes it like will come back, maybe do a little bit more rejection. That's not what I'm looking for. So I don't know if I'm looking to just get out. Take my 12% and move on for the day. Or just keep, part of me wants to just hold it and just leave my stop loss and my take profit. That's it. Just walk away. Start documenting. That's where this little candle is getting a little freaky deaky. Oh, CAD lost a lot of strength, though. GBP still is maintaining strength. Is it still going? Maybe. CAD is bringing us more fake out. I think it's just going to be like more of a, this one's just going to be more swing style. Just because I really wanted to see uh, coming into that next this this whole range here, so it just might take a little bit longer than I want for this morning. So I don't know if I want to stay on for two hours and get drained out talking when I'm just going to leave my stop loss and my take profit and uh, allow the chart to do its do its thing, if that makes sense. I'm just getting, I'm getting a little tired already. It's been an hour and a half. What do you think, Alan? Are you there, Alan? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm here. You're what do you, here. what are you thinking? Just leave stop loss, take profit, walk away or what? Yeah, let's see. I don't want to just. I mean, I can sit here, but you have you have props now. Oh yeah, it has a little. It has a a couple pips on DD after because I had some of those entries that were like here from earlier. I think you can leave like leave to be and stop loss and and holding because like you can see that the this last fifteen minutes falls above the. That's all. Who's right on it? Yeah, right on it. Yeah, directly on it. I'm, what, I'm just wondering if this is coming up for that last kiss. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. the last little bit of fake out. Still, still a great, still a great trade. I just, I'm, I'm still anticipating. The reason why I want to hold is because I'm still anticipating um, price to reach that next zone. Maybe, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I end up taking a losing trade after, after it coming up and just not getting out of, of the trade. You know, that, that's, that's possible. That's on me. So now I'm back into a little bit of D D, but the thing is, is I think it's just ranging. That's the only that's the only thing is that the momentum might be coming a little bit later, not necessarily directly right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's still ranging on this one. Yeah. like going on the next 30 minutes 
This yeah, is still I, now I'm, just, I'm just getting I'm getting tired of uh, just looking at it. I kind of want to just put my stop loss and take profit and walk away. You know what I mean? And get some work done. Uh -huh. Like, <laughs> yeah, they didn't like take profit from the, the next zone. Yeah, or yeah, my my, my TP is in this next zone, so yeah, that's where that's where I'm still on TP. Price is still going to. Um, I just don't want to sit here all day waiting for it to happen because what if it doesn't come till 10 a.m. and then 10 a.m. launches? You know, well that's mm -hmm. that's not for two hours. I don't want to I don't want to sit on the webinar for two hours just looking at a chart. I'm over it. Oh yeah, the so, if stop loss take profit. Then that, that's then it. When it's tight and coming up, you can just send on the the group. That's it, hey guys. See what's happening. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking is probably our our uh, our best option. Because I think now everybody can see like how trading it is. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes that momentum is just like. You know, maybe that momentum sometimes just a little bit better, you know, on those other pairs. Like, it seems like it was a little bit better on Euro USD, and it was better on, it was better on uh, EJ, right? On EJ, yeah. Yeah, these, they, it was just a lot better, you know? Um, what happens on every pair happens. Yeah, exactly. You then just be like, more, more patient and working and waiting for the, the pullbacks. Yeah, that's it. A better price. Because, yeah, because, I mean, I have things that I need to work on, too, a lot of things. And it's under, you know, it's like when we're trading and, you know, we're looking at the supply and demand, right? And it's like the better entries are always, if you're buy, right, the lowest point possible. And mm -hmm. if you're sell, it's always better on the, the, the highest point possible. So it's understanding more of the supply and demand to only get entries like here, right? Like this is where our stop loss was, so that's where all of our main, the, our main entry should have been, right? Either here or here. I had some here too. I have some here, and oh, then, cool. and then uh, one here, and then the rest are the rest are all in this range. So, but just getting it on that lowest point possible because even on Euro USD, right? Like Euro USD this morning, like 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 it coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, to be able to identify the supply and demand really quickly right like here's our here's our uh the demand hey, you can see where price just reject like touch and reject it, touch and reject it. that's where it just came back right here right yeah and it was like right for the morning and then boom boom it just it had, it had no remorse and it just launched yeah. you know what i mean so it's being able to identify those supply and demand zones even better just to be in and out. You know, like this already, like I would have been done if we caught the EU. I would have been out of the market. Because this is, that's 5.45 before 6 o'clock. I go back to sleep. Now you go run. You go yeah. to the gym. Go to the gym. Don't go back to sleep. I go swim. Yeah, go swim. Yeah. So... Now I'm just seeing more higher low, more liquidity. I put one more entry on the pullback. I didn't say I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get another monitor to hook up because so that my other account so that you can see the account better. Because remember remember how I was only using this for the MetaTrader Four and uh, hold on. Do I hear Portuguese in the background, bro? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the little baby boy doing, bro? Yeah, he's playing with uh, remote car control. Man, I, I can't wait to go up to Miami to start playing playing remote control with your son. <laughs> no, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I still, I, I'm just going to stay on the call right now just because I'm anticipating a, a, a nicer push maybe right now. So just for the sake of being on the call. Yeah, yeah. But if it goes, yeah, if it goes too far past into the next like 15, like I'm just over it. I'm just going to, 
I'm just going to close it down and then I'm just going to, I got work to do. So we have some work to do. Yeah. Nice job. So we catch a nice trade. Let's roll it up something. <laughs> <laughs> That's time. We are already working. And Bruno Keep is behind me. Hey, range Jurassic Park. Range Jurassic Park. And Bruno. Yeah, you mean Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Yeah, Fallen Kingdom. Did you see the movie yet, Bruno? Oh, wait. Yeah, I can talk. Yeah. Bruno, Bruno, did you see the, the, the new Jurassic Park movie? Yeah. Did you like it? I didn't watch it, but I, but I need to rent it. Oh, you haven't watched it yet. I didn't watch it. I only watched the first one. The Lost World. No, not The Lost World, but the, I forgot the name the of Jurassic the movie. World. The Jurassic World, but not the, the Fallen Kingdom. The first one. But The Fallen Kingdom is the new one that just came out. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that, one. that one was so we saw it in the theater so good. You heard it? You're yeah. gonna watch, right? Yeah. About to watch on Amazon. <laughs> Let's see what's going down here on the five minute. Yeah. Say bye. 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 <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't close anything. I, you know what? I think I accidentally closed one of my entries down. Which one? No, 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 I didn't. It's just always oh, wet. Yeah, I don't, no, no, it's there. I just don't know why it's not showing up on. But anyways. Oh yeah, the 30 minute, look how the 30 minute ended up closing too. Look at how strong the 30 minute is. It came up in wicked here, but now I would just anticipate more pullback. This is a really good setup for usually, you see how we just had liquidity? Usually really good setup, maybe uh, gain a little bit more liquidity just to keep pushing. So I mean, I'm just over it. I'm kinda, I'm looking to just chill. Um, I got some other, I think you and I have some work that we gotta do. So I'm just going to leave stop loss, take profit. You know, I still think it was a great webinar and uh, uh, still a good trade. Wrote out, wrote out some DD uh, early morning, which is fine. This, this move is just taking a little bit longer. So we do know that some of the other pairs, they just were a little bit better. So um, for the sake of being in and out of a webinar, we need as a team to be able to identify the ones that are making maybe a better push. So sometimes it's hard to know. So maybe, maybe next time we just buy on, on most of them. Maybe we take more entries on EU and EJ and EuroCAD. And, you know, whatever ones take the most profit, we take those ones and then, you know, figure out the rest. Um, that way we can just be in and out. Because I don't, I don't usually like being on a live call for like three, four, you know, too long. Unless it's just for like learning and talking about zones and stuff. Cause when we're actually trading with live money, it's, it, it's just too stressful to be on it for just too long. So I'm still in a nice amount of profit here. Um, I still want to hold until my next zone. I really do. Um, I want to hold up into this whole wick range. So that's still where my TP is at. And um, my stop loss is still down below the support. Now it, it appears to be making nice higher highs now and higher lows. We're, now we're confirming the momentum. I'm just unsure of how soon that momentum is really going to come for this pair right now. That was because that 
the Canadian dollar ended up did gain some strength. Well, it's much weaker now, and the euro is much stronger. The euro has full strength, so probably very soon here, it's just going to make that nice push. And then, uh, I mean, we're pretty much. I mean, it's been an hour and a half, right? So, like I said, like I've I said in the PDF, and like I post in the, in the Google Drive and stuff, that when we're trading momentum, if you have, if you're at least one hour in. And the profit really hasn't came yet. It's usually better just to leave stop loss and TP and just kind of like walk away because it might just be consolidating. And, you know, nobody wants to sit there and just start the charts all day long. So if the momentum doesn't come right away, put the stop loss, put your take profit, and then just check back periodically, see where it's at. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure that the next time I, um, I close and I want to look at what's going on, I'm, I'm, hoping that I'm just going to be up into this range and I can just take my profit and then we move on till tomorrow or maybe 10 a.m. But if, if we're on it for too long, you know, I'm not really wanting to even trade 10 a.m. I'll go looking. Maybe there'll be a better setup too. We might find a good setup. But it was just uh, – it was a little bit slower morning, but it was still a very successful Monday. So I'm still in a nice amount of profit. So for me, I'm not, I'm not worrying about um, – I'm not worrying about anything because we've already confirmed – with how strong these candles are, we're already confirming the strength of the trend that we do want to continue going bullish. The currency meter is now finally taking over for the euro, right? And the Canadian dollar lost that strength. So the Canadian dollar gained strength and then it ended up making that pullback, making the pullback. So I'm hoping in the next, maybe even in the next 10 minutes, maybe we'll just wait in the next 10 minutes. If it doesn't come in the next 10 minutes, I'm just closing it. If it does come in the next 10 minutes I'm still closing it so I'm just I'm getting I'm getting just a little bit tired right now of just being on the webinar um, so so I already have here I have multiple orders that are already over 10 so you guys know I usually want to close my orders at 10 pips right um, but for the sake of I'm really working on those swings and holding to those next zones I'm just going to be holding on this swing. I'm not going to close my percentage right now. I'm going to hold it. Um, I'm not being greedy. I'm just trying to practice my patience. So I already, I already wrote out a lot of drawdowns, so I don't know why I can't write out more profit now. You know what I'm saying? So yes, you're holding on the draw, now holding on profit. Just Exactly. Now just holding the profit till the next zone. And at least I know my stop loss is way down here and we're nowhere near. It doesn't look like we're anywhere near. We don't have any news. I mean, of course, some kind of crazy event can happen. Anything can really happen. But if that currency meter now is starting to really take over, um, right, and the Canadian dollars may be losing some strength, then this is what's helping us push EuroCAD forward. So as we anticipated, because we are still four hour time frame from this morning, we're still four hour time frame confirm. Because we broke we I mean, yeah, we kinda, a big pull back. Well we kind of closed right on it. I didn't realize that. It was a little bit more dangerous. Right? It closed right on that. But nevertheless, it was still extremely strong and it was in between those zones. But I usually don't like taking trades like that. So I don't know why. Oh you know what I did? I entered before, right? I entered before it got to that. That's why. Because I had some of those entries like here. So it was before the candle closed. Yeah, and there we go. So I am in, wow, that's a lot of profit. Oh my gosh. Um, so I'm at 20 pips, 13 pips, 16 pips, 13 pips, and it's, and it's still going. There we go. We're going into that next zone there. Yeah, nice trade. Very nice trade. Very nice trade. That is still um, our our four hour momentum, guys. That's still exactly what we're looking for. It's just today we ran into a little bit more of um, a struggle with the um, consolidation. It just messes. It just messes up just a little bit. It messes up just a little bit, but we wrote it out. And, and now we are getting closer and closer oops, to those TPs here. Um, 
Anyways, guys, all right, so I'm, well, we still got those six minutes, so maybe we'll just hold for the, the remaining of the six minutes till, if it, you know, hopefully we'll reach that next zone right now. But I'm already in a lot of profit. I kind of want to close and just take my money and run. But I do want to hold still. I'm usually already out when I'm already over 10 pips each, and I am, I am over 10 pips each. But that's why it's making me want to hold still to the next zone. Huge for our momentum. Twenty-four pips. Wow, this is nice. This is nice. You guys see that momentum now? I'm not looking at the the chat, so that's probably why you guys aren't like able to talk. I guess I should say. You know, it made it actually really nice too on calm from here on that 15 minute, right? Because yeah. we're we're by bias, right? And then. Higher high, new higher low, two one, boom. There's your two one confirm. And retest right the, the last zone broken. Yeah. <clears throat> you can see the, the week, leave the week there for reject. Well, I think I I want to be greedy and hold, but then part of me wants to just because this is where this is where I really believe that it's going to. It's still in this whole range. Maybe close the summons and leave the lowers. The better entry. Oh, like we even broke above. We, yeah, we broke above again. It's just. It just set up before coming up again. Yeah. So that's it. We only have four. We have four minutes left. We'll stay on it for four more minutes. And then I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a little too tired. This is a long. This is. It took two hours, so it was a long webinar. Yeah. No, still a very great trade. A little bit more more consolidation than I want. Low a little or 
you know, a little, a little more drawdown than I would have wanted to anticipate, but that's why I just, I added those more orders too. What's that five minute look like? I oh, just a little more pullbacks. That's it. I mean, still great trade. Um, I'm just getting a little tired. So as we said, I'm going to wait. Um, my TP is still not hit. So I'm still holding to my TP. It, it, it was kind of close actually to that TP. Um, like that, that's a difference of six pips per position or just six pips for all the positions that I had less, just on this. Like, look, just that alone changed so much. But I'm still holding to that next zone. So, anyways, great live trade. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down, I'm tired. And we will upload it into the drive for those who missed. Right, thank you, man.